Next, we got Skylar Mays. He's a 23-year-old, 6'4", 205-pound guard out of LSU. He averaged 16.7 points, 5 rebounds, and 3.2 assists on 49.1% from the field, 39.4% from 3, and 85.4% from the line. My strengths are that he's a very good 3-point shooter. He can both... Uh, he can shoot both off the catch and the dribble. Uh, he gets to the free throw line well, and he's a great free throw shooter, which is always a good transition, uh, good sign for his shots to transition to the NBA. Uh, he's a good ball handler, finishes at the basket well, uh, and overall, he's just a versatile scorer who can score at all three levels of the game, shoots the three ball very well, gets to the line well, finishes well, as uh, a good mid-range shooter, just pretty polished on that side of the ball. Uh, works. He works pretty well in the pick and roll. He's an aggressive defender who plays pretty hard on that end. He defends uh, both on and off the ball well, and he has excellent anticipation, uh, especially on uh, when he's playing off ball, which allows him uh, to force turnovers and get out in transition. Uh, he's a good rebounder for his size, uh, him being only 6'4", but averaging five rebounds per game is a good sign. Uh, he's a very intelligent player who has an excellent feel for the game. Uh, Known as a hard worker and improved his game a lot every single year in college. Uh, he plays his role, and he's a prospect who uh, could come in and have an immediate impact with him being a four-year college player and just knowing uh, how to play his role. My weaknesses are, though, he's a pretty average athlete, uh, doesn't have great size for a two-guard, not a, a great playmaker, and he's a bit of a tweener uh, just because he's not a great playmaker, but he doesn't have great size where he has more of the size of a point guard, but he doesn't play the point guard role. Uh, he needs to move more off ball, and that could definitely be something that helps his ability to just get easier shots. Sometimes he just stands around a little too often. So if he can uh, be a guy who runs off screens and cuts to the basket, I think that would definitely help him. His left-hand finishing needs to improve, uh, as he definitely relied on that right hand when he was going to the basket. And though he's smart uh, and puts effort in on the defensive side of the ball, his physical limitations will definitely hold him back on that end with just a lack of a big wingspan or great size uh, or great athleticism. Uh, he's a very old player. His lack of uh, burst and size will limit his ability as a finisher. Uh, he could put on some more muscle as well. And his ceiling is just very limited due to his size and athleticism. The annoying thing about him is he's a player who is not even his fault that his uh, ceiling is limited and that I don't think he's going to be a great player. Because uh, as far as skill, he does uh, basically everything that he can, but... Uh, his athleticism is something that's really going to hold the back in the NBA. I'm as a top 45 to 55 prospect. I'm fitting best with the Celtics because they need someone that can come off the bench and score the ball well. And then uh, the Mavericks because they just always can use catch and shoot guys to put on alongside Luka Doncic. Uh, my comparison for him is Josh Hart. Uh, I just think that fits pretty well with uh, them both just being... Uh, Decent players. I think Skyler Mays is going to be decent in the NBA, but nothing special. Uh, kind of like Josh Hart. I don't think he'll be as good as Josh Hart because Josh Hart definitely has more size. I think Josh Hart is around 6'7", 6'6", uh, uh, but they're both good rebounder for their size. Can both shoot the ball pretty decently, uh, and both are decent defenders as well.